Et voici vos boissons. Ah, merci. Have you ever heard of Napoleon? Who hasn't? Why? Well, there's a new Ridley Scott film about Napoleon. Oh, great. What iconic events will occur in Napoleon biopic number... I can't even keep count. Doesn't matter, because these are four brutal events that will occur in Napoleon. Event number one, the Battle of Austerlitz. What's that? Did Napoleon win a chocolate bar or something? No, it's the battle in which his army both beat the Austrian and the Russian army and destroyed the 1000 year old Holy Roman Empire, which helped to shape politics for many, many generations. Okay, I take back my words. You can say whatever you want, but Napoleon's use of practical effects are definitely on another level. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Point number two, s'il vous plaît. Event number two, the French Revolution. Oh, I know that. What a tremendous chaos. Poverty, head shopping, raised taxes, a government with no money, the end of the French monarchy. I could probably go on forever. You're absolutely right. And thanks to the revolution, France went from this to this. Much better. And during that time, Napoleon was seen as an excellent figure for France due to his preference for the ideals of republicanism and freedom of religion. But hey, that's all I know about the revolution. I'm a minifigure, not a historian. Touché. Point number three? Yes. Event number three. Invading Russia. Pfft. Invading Russia. What could possibly go wrong? I don't know. But there is this word... Um... Oh yeah. Everything. How come? Napoleon had pretty much conquered every millimeter of Europe. Then he and his army invaded Russia. The Russians burned Moscow. Napoleon took Moscow. Russia got some help from their faithful ally. Who? The winter. Napoleon had to retreat, lost at least 10,000 men, and the rest is history. I guess mistakes can happen, as long as you learn from them. True, Napoleon did try to do so through the Battle of Waterloo. Is this your fourth point? Exactly. Because the only country who really held their own was the country of this, this, and this. Wasn't this the final battle of the Napoleonic Wars? They say so, but 159 years later there still was this Battle of Waterloo. <laughs> okay. Yeah, so what happened during the 1815 version was that he still fought the Duke of Wellington's British army, who would eventually defeat Napoleon. Therefore, the French trust in Napoleon completely collapsed. Many European superpowers declared war not on France, but on him. Oh my god, really? Yeah, and finally, after Napoleon had to abdicate from power, he went to exile on a small island called St. Helena. Wow, what a story. Yup. C'est vous, c'est vous. Nous y la facture.